very hazardous conditions out on the roads around the home counties, down towards Hampshire, and then northwards up into the southeast Midlands, parts of East Anglia as well. Here temperatures are below freezing in some spots and some very dense patches of fog as well, so do take care, say up to about 10 o'clock this evening. It'll all change overnight as the milder weather floods in from the west, temperatures rising, and by that time the lowest temperatures probably overnight across the northeastern part of Scotland once the rain's gone away. But the winds are going to get pretty strong as well, so it will turn pretty windy everywhere tonight with gales in and about. Now the reason for the change is bank of cloud already in the west. It's brought some heavy rainfall across Northern Ireland into western Scotland. That rain now moving on to West Wales and southwest England. And as the rain band moves further east, for a time there will be some snowfall for the higher ground of Northern England up into Scotland. And on the eastern side of Scotland, northeast England too, even on lower ground, there will be a temporary fall of snow. But the milder weather's on the way pretty rapidly. The whole batch of wet weather will move away from most places by the end of the night, but some blustery showers following to northern and western Scotland in particular. So that's how we'll start the day on Friday. Some of those showers turning wintry pretty quickly, some heavy ones with hail and thunder. Plenty of brightness coming further south, but still that residual rain across these more southern counties of England, that lingering for a time in the morning before it brightens up again from the north. Some of those showers filtering south across the Midlands, but many southern and eastern parts having a fairly bright afternoon with spells of sunshine. But on the other side of the coin, the showers in the north there probably merging to get some longer spells of rain or even sleet, especially in the hills, of course. Driven on by strong up to gale force west to northwesterly winds once again. Really blustery showers coming through, and it's going to be a pretty chilly wind. I think you'll notice that wind in the north of the country especially. But actually, these temperatures generally are quite a lot higher than we've seen them today. Well, we'll see a bit of a change again over the weekend. We'll find this weather front pretty slow moving for a time on Saturday out on the western side of the country, but then getting its act together during Sunday as wind and rain again rattle in from the Atlantic. So for Saturday, and the scattering of showers across many parts, but there'll be some sunshine as well. The showers certainly across the northern half of Britain pretty wintry with some hail and snow, some more persistent rain showing up in the west towards the end of the day. That rain sweeping eastwards on Sunday, followed in turn by brighter weather. But just to reiterate, some very nasty conditions this evening in the